Hello everyone, hope you are all doing well. Today I am back to my usual recycling mode and using up my scraps as you know that's what I like to do the best. Um, I don't know about you but I'm forever getting these envelopes through the door and it you know and I, and I sit them in the recycling but I always think there must be something more I can do with these. Um, so I've come up with I've made this envelope here um, at using my larger scraps of papers. Um, you could use your painted papers. Um, you can use whatever you know. Your um, if you're doing jelly plated papers and things like that. So so you're going to make some really pretty mail art. But I wanted to use up some of my larger scraps that I have in my um, drawers. So I'm going to show you how I did that. Okay, so I've glued on the first two pieces of paper to, I'm not sure if it's going to be the front or the back yet, but I've glued them on anyway. Uh, with my first envelope, I just glued my pieces of paper on, and I'm, I'm just using a, a glue stick, but you can use the glue of your choice. I think a drier glue will work better for this, because otherwise you're going to get quite a lot of wrinkles, but anyway, I've stuck to glue stick. Um, but this time I wanted to embellish a bit more, so I've actually stitched along the join line um, this time on the front. Now I'm not going to be able to stitch on the back once I've folded these over because I can't I won't be able to get it into my machine anymore but at least I can do a little bit of this a little bit of embellishing on the front. Um, I'll show you a quick close-up of the stitching. Now I'm just going to trim this top edge up just to neaten everything up along that top line. So I don't want to touch the stitching, I don't want to cut along where I've did, done the little bit of stitching. I'm just going to trim that up just to neaten it off. There we go. So now I need to make the flap for my envelope. So I'm just going to measure the width that I need and trim that. Uh, 
and I'm going to fold my paper over. You don't need to really measure this, I'm just eyeballing what I think is going to be enough. I just need enough that's going to tuck into here so that I can glue my flap into my envelope. Now I want the flap to be at a little angle, so I'm just going to show you the of bigger scissors. I'm just going to cut an angle like that, and then I'm going to flip that over onto the other side to give me. same angle that'll do doesn't have to be perfect okay now I want this to be the I've decided I want the stitch inside to be the front of my envelope so I need to that means I need to pop this inside here so that that's going to flap over to the back there so I'm sort of trim that down just a little bit because I think it's a little bit wide that should just tuck in tuck in. So I just need to get some glue, I'm going to use some dry adhesive on here. Okay, so for the last one that I did, the first one I did, sorry, I just put some dry adhesive on the envelope lip um, and that's my simple closure. This time I'm going to switch it up a little bit and I want to do a little bit of a ribbon closure. Now this probably wouldn't be very good for mail art if you're sending it away, but if you're using it for a birthday card uh, locally and you can hand deliver it, then this will be fine. And this is just out of my scraps of ribbon um, box that I've shown you before. Uh, this little bit of ribbon actually was probably um, from, in fact I'm pretty sure it was, from an item of clothing. You know you get the little um, bits of ribbon on your, on your clothes to hang them onto your hangers. Um, I'm pretty sure that's all this was. Um, and you know me, I cannot bear to throw anything away. So I'm going to use that as my closure. Okay, so there it is, all finished. Um, of course, you can add as much decoration to these envelopes as you want. When I mean, I've got some more scraps, I could have played around with those, you know, and added those on as well. And I probably will as time goes on and I fiddle about with these a bit more. 
but um, there's just a couple of ideas for you. Um, I hope you enjoyed that video. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate all your lovely comments and, and for you watching, um, guys. And um, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks and bye-bye.